Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Grotto bonbons and mini bars, fruits and nuts fillings. These are actually made in Brazil. Uh, we found them at World Market. They were $7.99 for the box. Watch out. Back up. Not gonna hurt you. I <laughs> promise. I won't on purpose. No, I mean being able to hurt yourself more than me. Okay, so it has a little place to open the side. Ooh, and it's so fun. Look how festive looking that is. It's like a random assortment of candies. That would be really fun to give somebody for their birthday. Very bright and colorful. Because it's so colorful, and I love the inside of the box. I love that. That is. Um, that's just so pretty and festive. So I wonder if you got all the ones that, that don't, don't come out. I hope so. Okay. We'll just sort them. Ooh, these are two two different things. I thought they were gonna be the same, but they're not. Ah, these are different too. Okay, these, okay. So what we'll, we'll we got, uh, let's see. It says on the back, thank goodness. Uh, the, uh, we got a- You wanna try first. Oh, okay. Well, we have coconut, peanut butter, extra milk. Let's do extra milk first. Um, this one. It's called Baton. Baton extra milk. And it looks from the picture on the back like, um, I will take a picture of the back of this box because I don't think I did. But I do think you would appreciate getting to see these pictures. It, um, lipstick. Yeah, it's a <laughs> roll. It looks like a roll of chocolate. It looks like a Swiss cake roll, but firm, like a candy bar. Two pieces are 130 calories. It just says assorted chocolatey bonbons. It has like a little white center. But this one sounds the, the, the plainest extra milk. Grab a little piece of it. Mmm, all that chocolate. I like the texture of the chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's very firm. Mm -hmm. but it's kind of crumbly, almost like a, a really firm piece of fudge. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like that. Actually. That is what it re would remind you of. Mm -hmm. I could eat those. It, it um, the chocolate almost is like, you know, like a flake bar flakes. It's yeah. like a flake bar without the flake part. Yeah, that <laughs> um, it's just. But it's really nice. I, mm -hmm. I like that. I do like that. But it's a, it's just a milk chocolate. That's mm -hmm. all it is. It's still good though. If that white part in the center is supposed to have any flavor, I don't taste it. I think it just adds a creaminess to it. Um, okay, this one just says milk, baton milk. So that was extra milk. So it'll be interesting to see. So maybe the, this one doesn't have the white cream in the middle. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, no, it doesn't. So the extra milk had white in the middle. This one is just solid. And it's probably gonna be loud. Not too bad. So yeah, that it's just solid, no white. I like the packaging of the the, the tube. Mm -hmm. That's different. You're right. It doesn't have the creamy flavor that the first mm -hmm. one had. No, the white definitely added a, um, a creaminess to it. It did, but I still like the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I like both of them. I still think it's good. I think I prefer the extra milk. I do too. That creamy flavor. But for just a plain milk chocolate candy bar, that's what that yeah. is. Yeah, it's good. Okay, and now we it's have... It's the best chocolate in the world, but it's good chocolate. Yes. Now we have... This one just says... Um, it's... Crocante, C-R-O-C-A-N-T-E, and it's 28% cocoa, but it doesn't really say, it looks like it has peanuts in it, but it doesn't really give a description, so we might have to just bite that in half, Kevin. It looks like it would be, um, yeah. It's like a toffee inside of there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like peanut bro. Um, I don't think I could save that. Mm. 
still can't bro. Mm-hmm. With chocolate. Mm. I'm glad they gave us five of those. Mm-hmm. Because that was good. That is delicious. It has it's just like peanut brittle, except typical peanut brittle has peanut halves in it. This has like chopped peanuts. Mm -hmm. But it's really nice because usually in peanut brittle you get places where there are no peanuts and you just get the sugar. Yeah. This, every <coughs> single um, part of that sugar is, is taken up with peanuts. Mm -hmm. It's very, very good. Delicious. And, and it's not so hard um, like a peanut brittle either. It's no. kind, of, kind of more um, crumbly. But it has that nice uh, sweet flavor and the mm -hmm. chocolate adds a lot. Yeah, that is really good. so good. Um, okay, now we have... There we, go. we didn't get any of these. There's some gold ones on the back. Um, they're they're, sh they're like this, but they're they're like a, a whitish color. But you know what? We got those orange ones, and I don't see any orange ones on the back. Well, this one's called a P A Pacora. Coca. Is it P A C O C A? Yeah, Pacoca. Pacoca. Are you you think uh, that's a C? Is that what that is? Yeah, that's what yes, that's like. so it is. Okay, so what they've done is they've changed the package. Yeah. So we can go ahead and try that. Yeah, it's peanut butter. Uh, so yes, it's it's P-A-C-O-C-A, -C -C -A, and it's peanut butter. And yeah, this is orange. The one on the here is gold. I'm glad you noticed that. I could have cut that one. It's good. It has a, mm -hmm. a peanut butter-like flavor. It's not what I would call peanut butter. No. Like, a, not a jar of peanut butter, but it does, definitely has a good flavor. I like that. It's not creamy. It has some grit to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But not in I, a bad way. No, not in a bad way. But it's a little bit gritty. But I wouldn't say it tasted like peanut butter. Mm. Although it's very um, sweet. It's more pasty than a peanut butter. Yes. But I still like it yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's very, very sweet. That was nice. I still like the uh, the oh, yeah. crocante, the peanut brittle one better, but that one's good. Okay, then let's go ahead and try this one. This is a uh, caramello. No, it's so really cool. Yes, it's Talen Talento T A L E N T O Talento Duo. It's cocoa. It's sixty percent cocoa and wow. salted caramel. How <laughs> dark that is in the middle. <laughs> 60% cocoa and no. salted caramel. Ooh. That's different. It's like a fruit. That's not candy the same thing. It's banana. <laughs> okay. You're looking at the wrong one. Yeah, that is like a brown, a brown banana. Yeah. I totally read you the wrong package. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, that is pure 100% brown read, banana. What I read you was this. So imagine our surprise when it tasted like banana. <sighs> and and it Kevin not does not like brown. Okay, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that so was apologize a, to me. That was a <laughs> C-A-R-I-B-E, which is banana. C-A-R-I-B-E. I'm so sorry I read that wrong. Well, you want to do this last Bigger yeah, we'll do that one. Um, so that was banana. I, as far as the banana goes, I knew <coughs> once I tasted that banana that no. Kevin would not like it because Kevin does not like overripe banana. I thought it was good. It still isn't my favorite, but I did like it. Definitely banana though. And this one's coconut. It says IT Cocoa Coconut. This is very densely hot. Coconut. It reminds me of one of those flat. Mm -hmm. Except it's not quite as, um, the flakes aren't as big. Mm -mm. If you ever go to like um, the Dollar Tree and you see those pink and brown and white coconut, like that bar. Bar, uh huh. It tastes a lot like that. It does. I like that. I like that too. I like those bars better just because. Of the, I like the extra. The texture of it. Texture, yeah. yeah. But I think that is very good. That's, oh yeah, that's really good. It's different than like a, a Mounds or something like that. Or Bounty or whatever. And this is an Operetta Cream and it is Cashew Nut. 
I think it'd be able to cut this one. Mm, you might have to bite it in half. No, oh, it's white. What I expect from that? I don't know if you'll be able to cut it or not. We'll see. It's a cream. Yeah. Okay, cashew nut. It's not very soft in the middle. <laughs> hmm. I like that though. It's very sweet. The cashew, there are no, at least in my home, there were no pieces Like at physical all. cashew. No. I think what they did, because you can taste it. Mm -hmm. I think what they did was they must have ground it up into a paste. Mm -hmm. And then infuse the the uh, chocolate with that. You know that almost has a um, a cherry taste like a, a almond do, almonds do. I love it. I thought it was delicious. Mm -hmm. it's, That's probably uh, why, because she loves that yeah. marzipan kind of flavor. To me, it tastes like a like a white chocolate flavor with uh, cashew. It, I thought it was delicious. Now this one is a Garoto. A D light L E I T E and it's twenty eight percent cocoa. With basic chocolate. Mm-hmm. It's good. I like these I like this one still better. I don't think it, it tastes very much different from the milk one that we had earlier. Yeah, the little tube. Mm hmm I really don't. The, so um, two of these. the red tube, yeah. Uh, I don't think it tastes much different than that than that it's, red. It maybe that's a touch darker. It's just a, a milk chocolate, but I do like the um, I like the shape that it's in because it it's just a nice texture. This is the one that I told you about earlier. This is the uh, Talento Duo Caramello Sagrado. This is 50% cocoa and salted caramel. This is the one we were meant to have earlier when we got the banana one. There's no salted, there's no so soft caramel in there. Yeah, I was expecting some caramel. Mm -hmm. I didn't taste caramel. No texture of caramel. All I got is dark chocolate. And some crunchy bits. <laughs> Those like sugar. It is a very dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's not bad chocolate. It's just I was no. just hoping it had caramel and it didn't have no, caramel. I think because the um, it is um, sixty percent, and you wouldn't think that that was really dark, but it, I think it's covered up the flavor. You do get the texture of the um, the uh, caramel, but that's it. There's just some texture there. There's some little crunchy pieces there. This last one is. Uh, croconut, crocon. How you would you say that? Word. It's peanut crunch. <laughs> well, it's, well, I'm trying to mutilate the Brazilian language. That's true. <laughs> it's Talento. It's uh, dark. It's it's dark chocolate peanut crunch. And you know what? I'm telling you the wrong one again. It's Talento Duo. 60% cocoa, and no, it's passion fruit. I thought that was a fruit. I, I was giving you the wrong name again. I well, was, it's easy to get I was giving you the name of this one. The way that they have them written, I'm expecting the the uh, definition to be on the other side. It's not. Well, when I was smelling it, I was thinking it smelled fruity. This is passion fruit. My it broke it out. Um, it smelled like a fruit of some kind. Yeah, that kind of has that passion fruit. I mean, it tastes like passion fruit. It even has a little seeds in it. Mm-hmm. And if you don't taste it strong, just give it a thing. Oh no, it's very strong. <laughs> it's very strong. It's very strong. It's different though. It's not one that I would ever choose myself. Mm -mm. I don't mind it. It's not that I dislike it. It's just that I would 10 times rather have oh, the yeah. peanut brittle or, the or peanut butter or coconut. I even like the banana. I know Kevin didn't. Yeah. Um, I think this box is a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. It's I different. really do. It's different. It's festive. The only one I didn't like was a passion fruit. Box. There's a lot going on. Um, and the banana. You could buy a box with your family, and each person could cover their eyes, and you could pick one out and just try whatever you get, and it could be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I think it was. It, it's nice. It would make a very nice gift. So, 
hope this helps you out a little bit if you see this at World Market and you're interested. And thanks for watching.